In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a zoom transition in Premiere Pro. So without any further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so here we are in Premiere Pro and let's just take a look at the effect. There we go. Nice, so let me show you how to do that. So here's the clips that we have. We've got two clips here. So what you need to do is go to the effects tab and type in transform. So you could go to video effects, distort, transform. What you'd need to do is drag the transform effect onto both of those clips. So I'll just do that now. Select the first clip and go to the effect control. Now, what you wanna do is go to the end of the clip, okay? So the last frame of the clip, like so, okay? Have that selected. Now, in this effects control, go down to transform, okay? And then you wanna go to scale and you wanna control the keyframes in scale. If you select one here, and then what I like to do is when I'm creating this transition, I'll use maybe five frames of distance between the keyframes, but do whatever you feel is right in terms of the spacing. So just using the arrow key, one, two, three, four, five, that's five frames. And then we press this little icon here to add a keyframe. So now we have our two keyframes here. So to toggle between both the keyframes, you can select this icon here and it will toggle between the two keyframes. So we'll go to the end keyframe, okay? Highlight that. And in terms of scale, you see it says 100. I'm gonna now type in 300. So it's now gonna zoom in, okay? So now that's zoomed in. Highlight both these, right click, and select Auto Bezier, okay? Now that will make the transition a little smoother. Also, what you need to do is make sure that this little tick here by Use Composition Shutter Angle is off. And in Shutter Angle, you wanna type in the parameters 360. So we want a 360 shutter angle. Press OK. So now if I play it, it's created a little, that little effect. Now, on the next clip, we're gonna do exactly the same, okay? So we're at the end of the frame. So just use the arrow key select the clip, come back to the effects control and go to transform. And under scale, we're gonna to toggle the animation. So now we have a keyframe. Now using the arrow key, one, two, three, four, five frames and create another keyframe, okay? Now what you wanna do, toggle back to that first keyframe, select that and I had the scale on the original go from 100 to 300. So you wanna make sure it's less than the 300. So I'm gonna type in at 270, okay? So now it's zooming in at 270 or it's zooming back out at 270 to 100. So highlight both clips, right click, Auto Bezier, okay? Make sure you go down to use composite shutter angle, unclick, on shutter angle, we type in 360, okay? So now you have a 360 shutter angle. And if I play back the entire clip, we see our transition. Sometimes you're working on a project in which a person might be wearing a piece of clothing that has a logo that needs blurred out and they're moving about. So check out this video on how to blur a moving object using Premiere Pro, or check out this video you might enjoy as well. Until next time, this has been Aston Regis, helping you tell your story through video. Peace.